okay another one uh, how do you change the default uh, pro clip okay I hope uh, you are aware of this pro clip concept so uh, within the pro clip so the uh, uh, interview question that can be asked is how do you change the default pro clip using JCL lib so we use a keyword uh, that is JCL lib and you use order equal to this and if you wanted to add a multiple PDSs you can add uh, in this way right so you have a JCL and within the JCL and you're trying to call a proc okay uh, by default it may be some other proc that has been marked but you wanted to change the order so then how do you do that so you have to specify the statement JCL lib order equal to where you have to specify we have to, you have to specify right after the job card right we'll see how do we do okay if you look at this uh, particular JCL right so you have a job card then you are writing a JCL lib order equal to this specific proc name right so when you execute this so it should pick this uh, from this specific uh, library and it should execute that so there is a some error so maybe that particular data set is there okay let's go to this okay for the first let me close this close this okay yeah okay yeah so this is a proc library where I have this proc and here what it is trying to do it is trying to create this specific data sets so first let me delete this using TSO del command so this is also another one TSO command that you can use to delete the data set and another file is also there let me delete this file as well okay yeah so this is deleted so now let me go back to the JCL so now proc1 and let's submit this now you can see the job is submitted let's go to uh, the spool and check how this looks okay messages and now you can see uh, the step was executed and uh, if you go to the JCL and uh, here what I've done my proc so right so this is uh, it's calling this my proc and uh, the proc has been expanded if you see double X symbol here I mean uh, in this so that means it has expanded uh, from this particular proc where is this proc proc is here so this is how we uh, call this and if you want to add a multiple procs you can use within the two brackets and you can separate it by comma okay by default uh, system may see another important point right uh, okay let me tell before that let me conclude this so this is how you call uh, you use a JCL lib. If you want to use a multiple uh, libraries, you can separate it by comma, and you can specify you can specify another uh, data set. Let maybe the project two dot proc lib, okay, and you can run it, okay. That's how you use. So now uh, I hope you understand uh, how do you change the default proc clip. So if we use JCL lib order equal to uh, the specific uh, PDS name where all the procs are there. What, why do we exactly use this proc? Proc is a reusable component. So we're within the project, right? So with their set of code, or they can say set of exec statements that can be used by multiple projects, or it can be like with multiple JCLs. I can say, for example, if you are trying to create a new files every day, and uh, and it is a requirement same for the same requirement is for another. Uh, uh, JCLs or another type of a request as well. So instead of he or she writing the same code repeatedly, so we can make it. Uh, we can make that uh, specific steps uh, into the proc and create a member there and then use it. And if you want to override something uh, by the, and uh, normally we override the file names. So then in that case. For example, so if you are uh, in the real time, so you have a different environment, test environment, QA environment, and the prod environment. So test will have the same test file naming convention. UAT will have UAT file naming convention, and prod will have prod naming convention. So do we really code uh, uh, three separate procs for this? No, we only code a one proc so that uh, the JCLs will be three different JCLs, but three different JCLs uses a single proc. 
and uh, if you are using a test JCL so you'll be changing the qualifier of that particular data sets which are there inside the proc and then similarly for the UAT and similarly for the production so the proc the code remains same the JCLs will be different this is also another question that can be asked so make sure take an example and explain so that the interviewer can understand much better and in fact he'll be impressed with the answer that you're going to give okay so that's it thank you uh, this is uh, another interview question that can be asked